opening and starting a car without a key, a convenient feature. But is the keyless go system also secure? Or will we live under permanent fear of car thieves from now on? Will thieves be able to steal cars from right under our noses if the keyless go transmitter is nearby? Will such horror scenarios be everyday occurrences from now on? No. Arnulf Thiemel, technical expert for the ADAC, the German Automobile Club, can allay fears like this. In principle, keyless go systems are very secure. It also requires the user to make themselves familiar with the working processes. In particular, when leaving the vehicle, he should check via the indicators or the locks that the car is actually locked. We put the systems from the old BMW 530xi, the Nissan Pathfinder and the Jaguar XK to the test to check their security. The results varied considerably. The smart key system works via antenna in the boot, the doors and also in the interior where a receiver is built into the center console. So the XK smart key system uses four antennas in total. The comfort access system in the BMW 530xi is more sophisticated. The BMW has receivers built into the bumpers, the boot and every door handle. Inside there are antennae at the front and back of the center console. Altogether that makes 10 antennae scanning for the comfort access key codes. The Nissan Pathfinder, on the other hand, is more sparing. Antennae in the driver's and passenger's doors and in the boot are all that's available to identify the driver. There are no additional receivers inside. So that means the keyless go system in the Pathfinder makes do with only three antennae. All three systems work on the same principle, however. When the driver approaches, the antennae recognize the key and unlock the doors. Particularly in Germany, we need to avoid a scenario where a car can lock itself and then any passengers still inside are unable to get out. When they're locked, current cars are really completely locked. In many, many models, passengers can't open the doors from inside, so it's essential that the driver gives a deliberate signal by remote control, often with a double keystroke. That increases security against thefts, but are there really serious differences between keyless go systems? Keyless go systems are not all the same. There are manufacturers who are very responsible and build in very, very many levels of security, while there are other manufacturers where you can get out, go to the petrol cap and a thief can still start the car and roar off. Of course, that gives us a reason to test out exactly this risk. At a petrol station, we lock the cars and test what happens if someone tries to get in via the driver's door. None of the cars can be started, so we up the ante. Does the 5 Series recognize that the key isn't near the driver's door? Yes, the doors stay locked. The BMW only unlocks the door nearest to where the key is. In this case, it's the boot. The comfort access system recognizes the exact position of the key and the driver's door stays locked. Same situation, next candidate. Here too, the system recognizes the exact position of the key and reacts appropriately. Depending on the manufacturer, there are different levels of security. Some cars really do recognize which door I'm standing at and only open that same door. With all other cars, it's very important to pay close attention that no one else tampers with the door that I'm not standing at. The last car in the test is the Nissan Pathfinder. The system with the fewest antennae has to prove itself, and it is the most inexact. The Pathfinder also opens the driver's door. The inside is easily accessible and can be stripped, but the Pathfinder's engine can't be started. The Nissan is the loser in terms of precision. It opens all the doors as soon as the key is close enough to the car. The security of these systems is regularly tested. With this simple metal sweet tin, which completely blocks the signal, I can check what the car does if no key is recognized. 
I was able to open the driver's door, but now I put the key down in here and try to start the car. And look, there's a warning sound and a symbol on the dashboard. It hasn't recognized the key, so it won't allow the car to start. All of the cars we tested notify the driver that there's no key inside the car. Starting the engine is not possible. But what if the transmitter accidentally falls into the boot? Is there a solution if you lock yourself out? All of the Pathfinder's doors will be unlocked and stay that way. This means you can't be locked out, but unfortunately leaves all the doors unsecured. The 5 Series only opens the boot lid. The other doors stay locked. If the key is left behind, the boot pops open again to remind the driver about the transmitter. The XK doesn't leave scatterbrained drivers in the lurch either. Its solution is even more elegant. Our summary, the keyless go system in the Pathfinder works, but with three antennae it's too imprecise. The BMW's comfort access works reliably. All three systems satisfied our tests, but thanks to its great precision, our winner is the BMW's comfort access.